Barriers exist to either keep something out or something in. They can be walls, fences, and more. Often, the biggest barriers are in our minds. They can separate one person's ability from another and prevent any opportunity to achieve a shared common goal or experience. The stories behind everybody, there's a story of struggle. There's a, there's a story of not being accepted. There's a story of, of um, somebody telling them they're a mistake. In 1983, BTB founders Steve and Debbie Hergenrader determined to make a difference in the lives of people who were being held captive behind invisible walls. Steve, who was a pro ball player for the Yankees, and Debbie, a national gymnastics champion, exposed Debbie's younger sister, Kathy, to hours of athletic prowess. Hours would pass as the sisters spent time together during gymnastics workouts. As is prone to happen with siblings, Kathy began to emulate Debbie. When uh, Special Olympics added the sport of gymnastics, they tracked me down because I was a gymnast and, and they knew that there's this gymnast out there, a national level gymnast that has a sister with Down syndrome. Let's track her down and see if she can help us out. Kathy was determined to be a champion gymnast like her older sister. And ultimately, she succeeded and excelled in the Special Olympics. This amazing achievement became the catalyst for Steve and Debbie's lifelong mission to create a common bond between persons of differing abilities. Right there in the backyard, Break the Barrier started happening without us even really planning for it. It was a prayer coming to fruition and a dream turning into reality right there. Where it started on old bed mattresses and um, old mats. We made, actually made our own mats by cutting foam and piecing it together with duct tape. And, and we did have a trampoline and a balance beam. From the beginning, the Hergen Raiders had determined to do things in a very different way. Students with various abilities were integrated into the same classes, finding common ground and learning to work together. It's the magic and the mixture. It's the mixture of all abilities. From a small seed, a great tree grows. And from a backyard of 20 students, Break the Barriers has matured into an international ability center, touching lives and inspiring change in the local community and across the globe. Today, over 3,000 students attend classes every week in a 39,000 square foot facility, offering over a dozen programs ranging from gymnastics, dance, and music to USA-sanctioned tennis and taekwondo. In these integrated classes, students cooperate and learn in a supportive family environment, while instructors have the opportunity to match the gifts and talents of every student, encouraging each of them to reach their full potential. Sign language is a big part of all classes, helping to bring students together and support learning from each other, as well as bridge communication gaps. It's not, well, here's your able-bodied and your, you know, it's not that. They're all on the same playing field and they're all doing the same thing. I'm on the Berry Breaker team, the music team, and the dance team. It's a place of inclusion, it includes all kids from all backgrounds. Gymnastics, I'm a world uh, um, special Olympics champion. Where we teach dance, gymnastics, basketball, swimming, tennis, all these things, but to all abilities. And I got to work side by side, friends that had disabilities, and I just came to realize that, you know, they wanted to be treated normal just like everybody else. And working alongside uh, your friends, and you find out that they're more able than you are half the time. You can come and learn how to do gymnastics and tricks and everybody's really nice. Break the Barriers is a place that welcomes all children and adults of all ages, face, backgrounds. It doesn't matter if you're able-bodied or disabled. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are. We know that you have an ability, and we don't focus on your disability. We focus on your ability, and we try to get you to work on that and make you better. It's not about what uh, you can't do, it's about what you can do. We encourage all of them to um, come out their shell. I think that's the first step, so 
When we come out the shell, self-confidence is a lot stronger. We just connect with the kids and we give them opportunity that they don't have. When they come to our facility, um, that baggage is, is left outside the door. To further promote the message of inclusion, the first Barrier Breakers team was formed in 1987. We show what we do, we perform it, and they can see the potential of their kids right there. Going out and performing it is a, is a pro, it's, it's part of the education process. We don't talk about it, we perform it, and showing that potential is exactly what we do. I came in this week and they had changed a routine with my son, and I could not believe what he was doing. Over the years, this dedicated group of performers has made their mark at both the national and international level. Around the world, parents are the same. They're saying the same prayer. They want a place where their child can develop the gifts that they've been given, but there's a lack of opportunity to do that, not just in our own community, but around the world. And I believe that's why God's opening up these doors for us. What Break the Bears is all about is giving people hope. One woman in a Romanian orphanage said, only in my wildest dreams could I ever imagine my children can do that sort of thing. I didn't know. Well, it's been amazing just to see God work through our kids here and then touch the lives and even change government policies in other countries. And that's how we show the world um, that all people belong together and that everyone has gifts and abilities. That's what we have in common, so there shouldn't be a barrier. With the assistance of community partners, Break the Barriers connects with 145 schools in 17 districts with ability awareness, outreach, and education. Everybody in the community knows about Break the Barriers. Everybody loves watching them perform and just sees what they're um, all about. This is life skills being taught to kids and adults, values that you want to instill in your kids um, about loving others unconditionally and um, being involved in people's lives. Health, fitness, and nutrition are taught along with a special mentoring program for students who are at risk. Started out with kids with incarcerated parents and uh, we'll bring them to break the barriers. First hour we'll play games with them, um, kind of just like a youth night. And then second hour they'll be able to choose whether they want to do taekwondo, um, gymnastics, or swimming. Our mentors that come in and the people that come in to help out, you know, they tend to even stay for years. Lives are changed, literally around the world, by this incredible organization that has been cited as a national role model for inclusion. There's amazing days where I get to see triumph, I get to see success, I get to see kids who have never walked before take their first steps. I get to see kids just doing amazing things that, that doctors, that teachers would say to them would, would never happen. I, I get to see that on an ongoing occurrence here at Break the Barriers. Because here we see the struggles, we see, we see the everyday struggles, but we see the everyday struggles with people with smiles on their face. Break the Barriers isn't about them. It's not about you. It's about us. We're all part of our family, our community, our world. The word most commonly used is inclusion, but perhaps the better word is heart. Inclusion is born and lives in the heart. And on the outside, it looks like this. A way for my children's dreams to come true. It's made my kids better people. It's made me a better person as a parent. My little girl has changed, I mean, leaps and bounds, and she's just an amazing little girl. And parents will come up later on and say, I, I love this place. My, my child is learning great skill, learning to how to be healthy and fit, and they're also learning to be thankful for what they have, how to support and encourage someone, how to, um, to help bring hope to others, and uh, it, it just sets them up for life. You can join us as a student, instructor, parent, community partner, volunteer, or donor. Imagine changing lives and breaking down some of the invisible barriers that separate us from each other. The world will be better for it. You will be way better for it. We all have ability. 
We all have disability. That's what we have in common. So there shouldn't be a barrier. So hey, let's break the barriers. That'd be a good name. Ha, ha, ha.